Good morning. UPS just came and they delivered me my new wheels and tires for the car. So I got uh, four wheels. They're aero race wheels, just like the ones that are on the car. These are 10 inch wide wheels. And I think the wheels that are on the car right now are nine and a half inch. Um, they also brought me <clears throat> my tires that I ordered. These I got just almost pretty much the cheapest ones that I could find. The 275, 50, 15. Uh, those will obviously fit on a 15 inch wheel and uh, at 275 they should be perfect for a 10 inch wide wheel. So um, we're going to take those, we're going to put those on the car and that's going to be, those are going to be my street setup tires essentially. Um, the Goodyears that are on the car now, uh, I don't, I mean they're kind of old I think so I might take them off and just set them aside just for, I don't know, like if the car ever goes on display for anything so I could have like the actual Goodyear uh, NASCAR racing slicks on there. Um, I might get another couple of wheels just to have slicks for the back or I might get a no, another entire set just for full slicks all around that I can beat up and thrash. I don't have to worry about getting another set because I don't know where to get um, Goodyear equal number ones. <laughs> uh, NASCAR tires, I don't know where I would get those takeoffs. Um, I'm sure I probably could get them, but that's gonna be the new setup for the street. Check bolt pattern, back spacing, and fitment. Once tires mounted, the wheel is non returnable. Do not exceed tire manufacturer's recommended air pressure for mounting. Oh man. Oh, those look good. Those look brand new because they are. And, um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to get a. Thing there, but that's fine. They can do that at the tire shop. All right, it said to check fitment, so we're gonna check fitment. Oh, by the way, wheels came with these pretty cool Aero Race Wheel stickers too. That's right. I always love getting more stickers. I feel like a real NASCAR jack man. Lug nuts are pretty freaking enormous. They're like one inch lug nuts. Um, huh. Oh wow, that is hard to spin in there. Don't know what that signifies. Bunch of spacers in here. See, I don't know anything about this. I've never been in here. Look at these brakes. These brakes are freaking enormous. <laughs> They're ridiculously gigantic. <laughs> That's cool though. Oh, they had to do a little bit of clearancing it looks like. That's what these spaces are for, I'm guessing. Man, oh, I hope the new wheels backspace and everything is okay. Okay. Old pattern fits, that's good. Let's put them on just low setting. Yeah, they spin just fine. Clearance is a little tight, but they're not hitting anything. Couldn't tell if when the wheel was on, because I can't tell with the tire. I mean, it all looks pretty tight in there with the tire on, but I think the clearancing is all fine. It spins just fine.
Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of room back there. Sweet. Bull pattern. Oh, cool. I'm so relieved because I'd hate to have to send back a whole order of wheels like that. All right, let's take them off, put the old tire back on. Looks like different look. These lugs still have the goo that they use to stick them on there. That's pretty cool. Not that fast, but fast enough, I think. I'll get better, I'll get faster. Okay, the more I'm looking at these, the more they're looking Different, not like a little different, like way different. See the lip down there? Loop like ramps, it ramps up, flattens out, and then it goes up along to the bolt pattern. Over here, it's different. These are clearly not the same wheels. I think maybe these are the, um, these must be the more expensive ones. You can see that they're like pressed in the D-holes. And this is not, these are just like regular cut out of there. If you can see on these, the, the rooms are more slanted this way. And here they're more like vertical and slid back a little bit. So it's like they're slid back and pushed up like that. Whereas this is not so much. I think it should be fine. Oh, are these different? Oh God, don't tell me. No, they look the same, don't they? Kind of. That would really suck if like the front wheels were different than the rear. That would really suck. Maybe we should pull the rear off just to check the fitment on that too. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, I just wanted an excuse to be my own picker again because it's actually really cool. <laughs> in the front because the brakes are not as big so um looks good here too uh although i don't know about the clearance this way because the rim of the wheel looks completely flush with the bodywork but should be okay because the suspension, suspension is so stiff that um i don't think i'll ever have a problem with it rubbing there's the fuel line. You want to see the fuel line? Got no flashlight. Fuel line's up in there. Just, uh, I think that's a little loose if you can even see that. I think maybe that should be more secure than it is maybe. I don't know. <laughs> There's an and fitting in there. Where's that and fitting going? What? Oh, it's like this pipe right here has an and fitting on the other side of it. That's what it looks like. Oh. Set you back here and get this wheel put back on. These brakes are not as big as the front, but they're, oh wow, you're looking over there. These are, hold on a second. See, I don't know anything about four nine inch rear ends. So, these spacers here. This is a hub, not a flange. So if I understand that correctly, that means that this is a full floating axle. Is that right? Uh, I don't know how difficult it's gonna be to find parts for this. Uh, Cause I know the other side is leaking. The other side is leaking oil, and I don't know where it's coming from. But anyhow, 
<clears throat> so let's go ahead and put this thing back together. That's gonna be for another time, because we got a bunch of other stuff going on right now. Oh. Oh. It's a little dirty, the inside of the tire. I think that's grease coming out of the thing. That is seriously the easiest tire to put on of any car I've ever had. Digging the orange lug nuts, painted uh, same as the car. These wheels could use a wash. I think is that axle seals leaking? I'm gonna have to pull it apart to find out. I don't even know. I don't even know what that thing is. Like, I think it's a full floating axle, but I have no idea about four nine inches, so I have I don't know. But it doesn't look like a flanged axle. I was doing a little bit of research on that earlier. <laughs> Yeah, now that I got the wheels back on, remember if you, sh I don't know if you saw when I was looking at the where the wheel was in relation to the bodywork, and it was flush. And over here, it's not flush. It's like like an inch back. If you were to move this out an inch, move the tire out an inch, you'd end up awfully close to this bodywork up here, probably. May have to re raise the rear end a little bit, keep it from rubbing, but. Oh, you know what? I could just take the spacers out. There's a few of them in there. Maybe I could just take those spacers out and move it in a little bit. But there's no clearance problems back here at all. And up front, I didn't see much of a clearance issue. And there's so much room in those wheel wells up front that I think it'll be okay. But we won't know until we get the tires on and mount it. But I think it's gonna be all right. Ooh, I hope it's gonna be all right. Okay, just got off work. Uh, the tire store is about to close here pretty soon, so I am going to try and load these tires up in the Hummer and get them down to, down into town to get the tires mounted and balanced, uh, before they close. Hopefully I can get there in time. Okay, we are loaded up and ready to go. Just gotta put the dog back in the house and then we'll be out of here. I just dropped the wheels off. Uh, should be done in about an hour. I'm so tired, it's such a long day today. Um, after those are done, I'm gonna go get something to eat right now. And then when those are done, I'm gonna go ahead and drive home and uh, probably put them on the car tonight, just for funsies. I mean, why not? Just picked up my tires from Discount Tire. They'll fit back there. They're mounted up, everything went well. Uh, I was gonna get the bolt-in uh, studs. Uh-oh. That means my door's not shut back there. That's not good. I don't want my brand new tires to go flying out the back. <laughs> that would be bad. That'd be very bad. That's not one of my other doors, I don't think. Is this? No, it's shut. It's shut. I hope that ain't going anywhere. We'll see. <laughs> I guess I'll find out when I'm doing 60 down the highway and they all come pouring out the back. Can't wait to go home and put these babies on. <laughs> oh, I can't drive it tonight though, because uh, it's raining. I drove it yesterday, I got to drive it once. So that's cool. Once I get these on there, probably, it's probably for the best. Cause I probably would have taken it, driven it, and then the transmission would have exploded on me. So, who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I'm gonna go home and uh, put these things on. Okay, wheels are back. Let's see if we can get these puppies out of here. Oh man, they're meaty. I had them put the white letters on the outside. Uh, they're not yellow Goodyear, but at least while it's rolling down the road, you'll see some kind of lettering on the side. So, I don't know, I kind of dig it. Oh, oh. Man, look how big they are. They're like all meaty. They're bigger than the tires on the Hummer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. You know what I gotta say? It's, it's just fun even to just change tires on this car. I mean, uh, I don't even really need to drive it that much. Just changing the tires is a lot of fun. So, <laughs> so let's get started. I got a 
pay more attention. I always lose at least one. Whenever I do this, is it in the gun? No. Oh, there it is. Okay, not bad, that's not bad. Looks like it's gonna tuck in there pretty good. <laughs> See, these wheels are wider by a half an inch than the other wheels. I like that. I think that looks pretty good in the back here. And then I could always, I could go wider on the tread if I wanted to. In the front, man, oh man. That thing looks like it is sticking out up there. It's like it's really pushing out beyond. I wonder if I wonder if these wheels are different. I wonder if these two wheels have different offsets. That would be crazy. That would oh, that would suck. Um, I guess I could find out. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, I know there's a couple spacers in here that I could pull out, but that's not like horrible. And there's so much space. There's so much space up above that wheel. Even if I drop it down real low, there's still gonna be plenty of clearance there. So I'm not really worried about it. All right, we're gonna take this thing to the drag races and watch some drag racing. Should be a fun trip. Rides a lot smoother, a lot smoother on those new street tires. After I took over the last drive, I got back and I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what, it sounds like that other side is open, like the exhaust is open. And I was opening and closing the cutouts and it didn't seem to change just that one side. So I thought, hey, I'll get underneath it, take a look, see what's going on. So I get underneath it and I find one of those clamps is not doing anything, the one on the exhaust. This one is holding that on, obviously. And this is just like, Sitting in there. It's not not even clamped and then there's this clamp up here, which is obviously holding this piece on But that's kind of a mess then I looked over in this direction and That pipe is completely off and I don't even understand like really how that happened, but I Guess it must have hit something And on top of that these things are just Put on there with hose clamps like <laughs> to the bar, which I guess works, but uh, man, just what a what a janky setup. Yeah, so we're gonna have to fix that. This just fully came off. I don't even know how that happened. Is all that even okay? Well, anyway, let's do what we can to fix that. Yeah, it did. It got hit pretty good right there. What did that hit on? Huh? Who knows? All right, let's see if I can fix it up. Well, fixing the exhaust is not that big a deal. It's just a matter of muscling it back up into place and getting the clamps tightened down. Um, eventually, it's probably gonna have a different exhaust on it than that. I'm gonna have to fix that eventually, but that probably won't come until probably when I rebuild the engine or something like that, uh, a ways away. Uh, I think the tires came out great. Uh, they really ride nice, and it's gonna be nice to have street tires for the street. Uh, I think they look really cool too, I know. It's kind of weird to have like Hankook as the logo on the front instead of Goodyear. Um, but I mean, they're street tires, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, next up, we're gonna have to do something about these control arms because the camber on the car is, uh, I think, positive camber, you call it. 
um, they're sticking out pretty good. So if I'm gonna be driving this thing on the street, I'm gonna need to fix that. So look for that coming up shortly. Got a bunch of uh, other smaller uh, things I'm doing to the car, mounting up a battery, uh, maybe rebuild the carburetor. Um, we have to wait and see. I don't have anything really planned for the second video, for the next video yet, except for the control arms. Um, just got a little bit of snow here recently, which is completely out of the ordinary for this time of year. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.